Hey, what's going on, y'all? Big Sarge, your host of the Sports Talk with Big Sarge podcast, available wherever you get your podcast from, and host of Texas Tailgate Talk. Now, before I go on, let me say this. I am uh, I'm elated. I am overjoyed. I am happy. I am honored to have the guests that I've had on Texas Tailgate Talk during training camp who have come on and given their inside insider view and given their analysis of what they're seeing at training camp. I really, really appreciate it. Woo! Next week, I got a special guest coming up for y'all. Maybe two. Maybe two. One is confirmed, and if everything goes according to plan, I think that you all will like who's going to sit on the back of the tailgate next week. All right. That ain't what you came here for, right? You say, Sarge, that ain't what I came here for. Get to what I came here for. So on yesterday, right, Saturday, the Texans had a night practice, and one of the media members that was there was John Hickman from Locked On Texans, one of the hosts of Locked On Texans podcast. And the one thing that I love about John is John loves football. John loves football. And John can deep dive into offensive linemen and defensive linemen like no other. So as John and I were standing out there talking on yesterday as the Texans went through their team drills, him and I were specifically watching second year offensive guard, left guard, Kenyon Green. And we came to the same conclusion. I'll get to that in a minute. But before I say that, I've said this like a broken record. I've said this on podcasts, numerous podcasts. I've said this everywhere I've had an opportunity to talk about Kenyon Green. You know, last year I gave him an incomplete because he went up against some of the best defensive tackles in the game as a rookie. And so I gave him an incomplete. And I said that coming into this season, he would have to have a very good training camp. He had to have a good offseason and a very good training camp. Well, he had to have uh, surgery during the offseason. And he was he didn't go through OTAs, but he was able to make it into training camp. He missed the first day. And then the second day, he started taking, you know, out of the four drills he played in two. But now he's back full-time starter in there with the first team, taking the first team reps. And what I'm seeing from Kenyon is a person who is still trying to get their feet up under him, a person who is still, you know, getting themselves, whipping themselves back into shape as far as game shape is concerned. And it's kind of hard sometimes when you're going up against grown men. Um, He doesn't look bad, but he doesn't look where he needs to be. So John and I came to the conclusion yesterday that what Kenyon is good at we know that coming out of college he was a very good run blocker and he was you know not as good in pass protection as he was in run blocking but once he engages once he 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 engages into the engages with excuse me with the defensive lineman he does good it's the second move that the defensive lineman does and he's trying to recover that normally gets him in trouble on yesterday he was going up against Hassan Ridgeway and he was able to get up under Hassan Ridgeway move him out the way get to the second level and engage with Denzel Perryman second play of that drive he was able to get into Denzel Perryman I mean I'm sorry get into Hassan Ridgeway and then pass him off to Juice Scruggs, who was engaged, but also took on two blockers as they were moving down the line. That was good. But then he had to face Malik Collins. And Malik Collins beat him on two consecutive plays with a bull rush spin and then a bam, we engage, knock his hands down, spin, and get to the quarterback. It's the recovery move. So he needs to work a little bit more on his feet. And that's what John and I was discussing on yesterday. He needs to work on his his footwork a little bit more. And he needs to be able to recover and expect, expect excuse me, and anticipate that second move. 
I think that's going to happen. I talked with Malik Collins after practice, and I was saying, Malik, what are you seeing when you're going up against Kenya? He says, Kenya's going to be, be good. He said he's still learning, but he's going to be good. And he says, I was able to beat him at the end of practice on those plays. But some of those plays, some of the plays that I, that we've been involved in, I haven't been able to beat him. And so, you know, and it just goes with, you know, stacking days. As, as that's the, the term that's being used throughout the NFL, just stacking days. And if you can stack those days, those consecutive days, you get better and better. And so I will be looking forward to seeing what Kenyon Green is going to do as the training camp and preseason progresses and see where he's going to be going into the first game, the opening opening day game against the Baltimore Ravens. Make sure you're subscribed to the Sports Talk with Big Source podcast, available wherever you get your podcast from. And follow and subscribe to the Texans Tailgate Talk on YouTube at Big Sarge Media. Follow me on the tick and the talk at Big Sarge Media. I'm also on the app formerly known as Twitter at Big Sarge Sports. Shout out to Cody M. Davis and John Hickman over there at Locked On Texas Podcast. Those guys do a fantabulous job giving you daily Texans content. Those guys are really good. Those guys are really, really good. Well, John is. Cody, eh, he like my little brother. You know, he's always, you know, like a little thorn in my side. But he knows what he's talking about, especially when it comes to Michael Jackson. Hee <laughs> hee! Big Sarge, I'm out!